YouTube gamers, Bonfire here bringing you the five spot, where we take a look at the week that was in gaming and bring you the top five news and announcements. This week was filled with a ton of announcements, so let's dive right into the announcements that you care about. Starting at number five, Ouya has announced a new larger 16 gigabyte version of their console. This mirrors the white version that was available during the holiday season and will set you back $129.99. Hey, with this new added storage, you can download those great titles like Flappy Birds. You guys think Flappy Birds would be easier on, on the Ouya? Maybe? Nah, probably not. Next at number 4, the Xbox has stepped up their game with Games with Gold for the month of February. This month you can expect to download great titles like Dead Island and Toy Soldiers Cold War. However, they're still not on par with the PlayStation as PlayStation Plus users can expect to download Outlast for the PlayStation 4, Metro Last Light, Payday 2, and Remember Me for PlayStation 3, and Mod Nation Racers Road Trip and Street Fighter X Tekken for the PlayStation Vita. I think I know which console I will be playing in the month of February. Continuing on with number 3, Respawn Entertainment has confirmed that their highly anticipated title, Titanfall, will officially have a beta. No official word on how to access this beta, or when this beta will run, but many people believe that access is given through pre-ordering the game at select retailers, and the beta will run from February 14th through February 19th. Hey, you guys remember the last time we had a beta released a few weeks before the actual game? Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Next at number 2, a leaked rumor has surfaced that suggests a white Xbox One will be available later this year. This white edition of the Xbox One will feature a 1TB hard drive and no optical disk drive. This will help lower the price of the Xbox One to $399 on par with the PlayStation 4. The rumor also suggests that a limited edition Titanfall Xbox One will be available and launch alongside the game on March 11th of this year. Now this is only speculation, however Microsoft is looking to seek legal action against the person that leaked this information which tells me that there is some validation to this rumor. The white Xbox One does look cool and all, but... <laughs> hey, you guys smell that? I smell another 180 coming. Last, but certainly not least, at number one, Nintendo president Satoru Iwata took the stage this week to address some of Nintendo's financial troubles. He addressed the Wii U and went on to say that the Wii U will continue to be a focus for Nintendo and they plan on turning around the muddy perception that the Wii U gamepad is just an accessory for the Wii. He also suggested that Nintendo will be looking to move to mobile devices and create applications. However, he did reiterate that Nintendo games will not be available on those mobile devices. They're more looking to license character rights to these new partners in order to expose them to a larger consumer base. He also said that Nintendo was looking to expand their business and focus on a quality of life venture that will work alongside their traditional business model. These include things like the Wii Fit. These are potentially some great ideas that could change Nintendo, but you know what Nintendo really needs? Someone else. And there you guys have it, the top five in the week that was in gaming. Let me know what you guys think about these announcements in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know with a like. And if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay informed on the five spot. Until next time, I'm Bonfire, and I will see you online. Hey guys, don't forget Facebook and Twitter. Hit that button down below.